Volta gets a controversial new name on NXT 2.0. John Moxley is returning to AEW Dynamite tonight, and we have a push within WWE to sign a former Ring of Honor champion. Find out who in a little tickle. So during last night's NXT 2.0, Sam, we saw a fantastic match between Roderick Strong and Volta. Volta, who we all know and love. Volta, who we've got to know over many years oh, as God. one of the most imposing, scary, Tits slapping professional wrestlers and most famous independent wrestlers in recent years as well. Like he, his name was everywhere before he even made it, to, you know, to WWE. Uh, and many see it as kind of like, a, oh, Walter's with WWE, and he's not just going to be wrestling everywhere now. Yeah, and he's had a fantastic run as part of NXT UK, of course, when he pops up on NXT Black and Gold and NXT 2.0. He's always fantastic as well. They've certainly not lost what Vol what made Volta Volta on the independent scene. But after yep. beating Roderick Strong on last night's NXT 2.0, what happened, Sam? Because I want someone else to say it because I can't quite believe it myself. <laughs> he, uh, he announced that the winner of the match was actually Gunther. As in Gunther. As in Gunther, as in stereotypical name, Gun. Oh my God! What are they doing? They're just massive fans of Friends, Sam. So we we we'd heard that WWE had registered the name Gunther Stark without realizing that it was a World War II Nazi submarine commander, uh, and then it sort of from there onwards it was like, oh God, they're gonna rename Walter, and now they have. Uh, it, it's. It doesn't make any sense to me at all. You've built him up. His name's... It's not like, you know, when Andre the Giant come in. It's like, what were you working under in Texas? Andre the Giant? No, you're going to be Big Jimmy. Like, <laughs> it, it's he's Walter. Everybody knows him as Walter. By changing his name, you just make yourself look foolish. I, it, it just feels ridiculous. There's got to be... I'm just trying to think of a reason why they would possibly do it. Hope well, it's, It must be something to do with the, the ring map being sacred and stuff like that, and maybe Gunther. Because crucially, it's, he, it's, he, didn't, he didn't... You know why they're doing it. They're doing it so they own the name. Yeah, well, obviously, yeah, but I'm trying to think of his st storyline <laughs> reason. Crucially, he didn't mention the surname. He just called himself Gunther. The, yes, the, yeah. The announcer was like, and the winner of the match is Volta. And he's like, no, 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 nine, nine, he said. The winner of the match is Gunther. Slap the, uh, slap the microphone down and then beat up Roddy Strong some more. I've got to agree with Keith Lee here. When Keith Lee heard about this, he took to Twitter and he commented, man, if what I'm hearing is real, poor Walter. So, as you said, you know, there's there's hopefully some sort of storyline reason for this, but at the minute, it feels very much like we're in this phase of repackaging in NXT. And I don't know if Walter really needed repackaging, but we had more stars get repackaged on the show as well. So maybe it was a bit of a soft reset week, but... God, don't we don't know. need one of those. We don't need one of those, Sam, after what NXT 2.0 has been over the last couple exactly. of months. Exactly, um, exactly. But... I th I th I th this might be famous last words because how many times have we be have we been bitten on the ass with this sort of thing, Sam? But just let it play out, everybody. Well, Stella, yeah, we'll, we'll let it play let us down out. Before, it? At, at the same time, it's just <laughs> ridiculous. It's, rid <laughs> you, it's, it's ridiculous. Hopefully, Hopefully they ridiculous. save it. But there we go. Volta <laughs> is now Gunther. For no reason. For no reason whatsoever. Now then, continuing with NXT 2.0 last night, <laughs> two stars debuted new looks on last night's show. First of all, we had Solo Sokoa, who of course on last week's NXT 2.0 was hit in the face with a fireball by Boa, who did so well for so long to contain the mystical demon thingy yeah. within his soul. And then he, he sort of went backstage, was a backstage brawl. He was thrown over some crates and that's what unleashed the, the thousand year old demon thingy. <laughs> he threw a fireball at Solo Sokoa's face. And because of that, obviously, Solo Sokoa appeared on this week's NXT with a bandage on his face. Excuse me. And then he took the bandage off. There were sort of burns and whatnot, third degree burns, as there would be after being hit in the face with a fireball. No, then... we know from wrestling that it just leaves emotional scars, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't do that to me, Kane. And then he made note that while Bo he says, Boa, while you've got your war paint, he gets two fingers and he goes, Bleh! down the other side of his face. So now Solo Sokoa, it would appear, has a new look involving both burns and paint. Nice. It gives him a bit of edge. It gives him something different to work with. And it's a nice little feud until he's fully healed. I think it's a good thing for both guys. And I don't, I still don't understand why Solo Sokoa is in NXT. I thought they'd just fast track him straight through to the bloodline, but... 
you know. <laughs> he is a big girthy boy, and he's just uh, so far in NXT. He's just he's been fantastic. I think he's been yeah, fantastic so he's far. He's been great. And a little uh, what we've seen from so far in the ring. A fantastic quote from him during this promo, which said, um, "I've never been hit in the face by a fireball before," which is good to know. Yeah, um, I I don't think I have either. So we got something <laughs> in common. That means I can get behind and support him. <laughs> so we go, New look for Solo Sokoa on NXT 2.0, and then we have Sarai. Now, this one's an interesting one. We're speaking about yeah. the, the potential backstory of Gunther and how Gunther became to be. Sarai is still called Sarai, but Sarai has a is new sort Sarai of look. Is it Sarai or Sarai? Sarai, Sarai, I don't know. <laughs> Potato, patata. <laughs> I think it's Sarai, but yeah, she uh, she appeared in a vignette this week that was a little bit convoluted. It kind of went on a bit. Uh, but she she explained that she hadn't quite been herself in NXT. She hadn't really made any ground. She hadn't developed any progress since she's been there. So she took herself back to Japan to, to heal herself physically and mentally. While she was there, she was keen to sort of reinvent herself. Uh, and she found a necklace given to her by her grandmother, who is apparently her hero. And this has helped reconnect her with her roots. She then explained that she is the warrior of the sun, promises to return to the US with renewed passion and energy, and also but, she's dressed like a Japanese schoolgirl. You know when Gail Kim signed with WWE way back yeah. in the day and there was that famous story of Vince McMahon discovering a certain... Yes, a certain, yeah, a certain subgenre of a certain form of entertainment. Adult entertainment. Yes. This, this, this feels a bit like that. It, it's difficult to say, but at the same time, you know, WWE tend to have full control over their gimmicks. If it's something the talent has come up with, then I'm excited. If not, and it's just going to tread down that same old route, I'm kind of like, eh. But, you know, hopefully we get some mystical element out of it with this necklace. It certainly seemed to be all about that necklace as we got toward the end of that promo package. There were a lot of, like, close-up shots of it. It's very, like, reflective and all pointy. Uh, so we've got, like, a whole new thing going on there. Uh, but fingers crossed something nice comes of it. But I, I'm kind of nervously just dipped a toe. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to get in yet. NXT 2.0 is absolutely terrified, isn't it? But the last time we saw Sarai, Sarai on NXT TV is when she lost to Kaylee Ray in early November. She then defeated Last Legend in a match that aired on the December 14th episode of 205 Live. And then she took herself back to Japan, found the necklace, and her grandma must have been a teacher. Yeah. 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 Let's just go with that. <laughs> a massive return is set for AEW Dynamite tonight as AEW have announced that John Moxley will be making his return to the promotion tonight. This is Wednesday, Wednesday night Dynamite. You will see John Moxley. This is very good news indeed, Sam. Yes, uh, I think when the second the GCW date was announced, everybody was a bit like, ooh, is it going to be a big surprise AEW return? Are they going to announce it? Are they not? But I, I like the fact that we got something to look forward to. I like the fact there's a lot of hype going into this. And I love the fact we're going to see Moxley again. And, you know, hopefully he's doing a lot better and hopefully he's ready to return full time. So I'm, I'm excited to see what tonight holds. Yeah, we last saw him wrestle on AEW back in October before uh, uh, he admitted himself to an inpatient alcohol rehabilitation facility in early November. It would appear that's all gone well. That's why he's coming back to professional wrestling this week. On Sunday, you can see John Moxley defend his GCW <laughs> world title against Homicide. That should be good. That and should be good. Well, you can also see Jeff Jarrett take on Effie in a match that I cannot wait with Jeff Jarrett and his new Western Undertaker guitar playing scary man look. Yeah, he's like he's got that Garth Brooks, what was it, Chris Gaines, where Garth Brooks had like a, a slightly grungy alter ego. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Jarrett is in his Chris Gaines phase. <laughs> it suits him. Well, I can't wait for that pay-per-view. That's on Sunday. But tonight on Dynamite, you will see John Moxley return to the squared circle. What will he do? I've got no idea. Will he help Eddie Kingston take down Chris Jericho? Potentially. Potentially. But I... I, mm, mm, I kind of want to be surprised. Completely surprised and shocked and swerved. He just twats Eddie Kingston in the face. Mm. And finally, we have news of a push within WWE to sign a former Ring of Honor women's champion. And now this is a, a, according to a report from Fightful Select, who said there is a strong internal push from the company to sign former Ring of Honor world champion or women's world champion, Rock C. Yeah, so she was apparently among those who recently attended a tryout with WWE and apparently really, really impressed on that tryout so uh, apparently there was talk as well beforehand of signing her before the tryout so wwe she must have been on their radar 
for some time, but she was the inaugural Ring of Honor Women's World Champion until she lost it to Deonna Perrazzo on the January 9th episode of Impact Wrestling. And one source at the Performance Center said uh, that they used the match as an example of why signing the 20-year-old would be an absolute no-brainer for the company, uh, though apparently they also noted that they thought Wheeler Yuta was a no-brainer last year, and obviously that's not quite happened, so... It's an interesting one because, of course, we've seen the change in mantra in NXT and the hiring process going for more athletes rather than independent wrestling yeah. names. But then you see that Roxy is only 20, and you think, wow, not only has she got that sort of run on the independent team under her belt already at that tender age, but also she is 20. Therefore, she's young, she's coachable, yeah. she's all the stuff that they and want. And I think that that rule only really applies, you know, it's WWE, so pinch of salt. You know, if, if the champion of another company they're interested in who's 45 years old walks free, I'm sure they still sign them yeah. so it, it, it only kind of I think for the bulk of the hires it's very much going to be from this new athletic background type thing they've got going on but uh, it wouldn't surprise me if Roxy was to turn up with the company there we go exciting times for Roxy potentially heading to WWE or maybe she'll just stay elsewhere because she's doing quite well by herself yeah. <laughs> who knows what might happen <laughs> tune in later on today because we'll have more news from the world professional wrestling Sam any closing remarks on this here video right now uh, no see you in a bit some more news yeah 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 <laughs> yeah bye <laughs>